Today I'm going to tell you about what is happening in the market of solid state batteries, solid power, quantum scape and the battle for next generation batteries. You know a second solid state battery startup is coming to the stock market. A lower valuation than the first one reflects investors thirst for disruption stories, especially with solid state batteries. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel and like this video and join our community for more stories. And please share in the social media if we would greatly appreciate it. So Stephen Wilmot reports in the Wall Street Journal that the solid state battery market for electric vehicles is still a market that rewards expensive moonshots, moonshots over incremental technology improvements. Wilmot says the latest electric vehicle business to announce plans to go public via a special purpose acquisition company is Solid Power, a Colorado based development of next generation solid state battery technology. On Tuesday, Decarbonization Plus Acquisition Corporation, um, uh, which is uh, uh, said it would buy solid power for $1.2 billion, including cash from the SPAC, SPAC, and the fundraising held alongside the deal. The combined companies would have a market value of roughly $1.9 billion at the current share price. That is a lot less than the 12.8 billion market value of the other US listed solid state battery company, California based QuantumScape, which merged with uh, a SPAC last year, became an investor darling after reporting some promising test results in December. In fact, in December of last year, we also heard about Toyota solid state battery reported by Nikkei um, Asia, but there is not much news. So around Christmas, its market capitalization, quantum skips, exceeded that of Ford Motor. The stock had since plummeted as investors have cooled on EV related startups more generally, but the company is still more highly valued than most pre-revenue peers in the sector. Wall Street Journal reports that the lithium-ion batteries in today's smartphones and Teslas contain a potentially flammable liquid electrolyte to ferry lithium ions between the cathode and anode in the charging and discharging process. Solid state batteries promise to replace the liquid with solid. This is why they're called solid, solid state. While, the, while that solves some problems, the industry is particularly excited about the lithium metal anodes that solid electrolytes might enable. These could bring massive theoretical cost savings and make long range electric vehicles much cheaper than traditional gas cars. This can revolutionize the automotive industry and battery industry. Coming up with the viable materials for the solid electrolyte has proved an enormous challenge though. QuantumScape thinks it has hit on a ceramic that works with a lithium metal anode and the test results that it has released are promising, albeit limited. Solid power is pursuing another electrolyte metal called a sulfide and maybe further down the testing route than quantum skate uh, skate reports wall street journal but the results it published with lithium metal anodes were disappointing so it is working with a more conventional silicon anode as a first step essentially quantum scape is focusing on a harder to solve problem than solid power with the potential for a more revolutionary solution. If the Californian company really has found a wonder material that enables lithium metal batteries, it could become one of the next giants in an industry set to inherit the mantle of oil and gas, Wall Street Journal reports. This could have huge effects on Teslas and all other electric cars and gas cars. That is also because QuantumScape has positioned itself business model to capture more of the gains of, an, uh, of any breakthrough at greater capital cost. It plans to manufacture sales itself, whereas solid power's approach is asset light. 
It will license cell designs to others and only make the electrolyte itself. Solid Power has taken care to ensure its technology is compatible with existing lithium ion cell manufacturing so that existing battery suppliers could easily adopt it. While there are real differences between the companies, it is still hard to rationalize such a big valuation gap. Both have credible partners in the automotive industry. QuantumScape is backed by Volkswagen. Solid Power is backed by Ford and BMW. Very credible partners, right? Neither expects to make meaningful revenue until the second half of the decade. In fact, I will have another story about solid states when we can expect those batteries. Lithium metal anodes are the end game in battery technology, but both companies have significant challenges ahead and are years away from mass production, says Mark Newman, a battery investor and former Bernstein analyst. Ultimately, the Wall Street Journal says, today's valuation may not reflect the subtleties of battery technology so much as investors taste, taste for big picture disruption stories, whatever their chances of success. Ford Motor Company and BMW that support uh, solid power have made it clear they are bullish on solid power's ability to deliver. TechCrunch reports the two OEMs led the battery developers 130 million Series B in May and signed jointly development agreements for automotive scale batteries from Solid Power's pilot production line to be delivered in early 2022. That's in less than a year from now. The SPAC transaction will likely be completed in the fourth quarter of 2021. Solid Power said. It's expected to trade on the NYC under the ticker symbol SLDP. Solid Power is just the latest battery company to go public via an SPAC. In recent months, one of its main rivals, Volkswagen backed QuantumScape, went public via SPAC merger last September at a valuation of $3.3 billion. Earlier this year, European battery manufacturer Fryer and power system developer Microvast also announced mergers with so-called blank check firms. And by the way, a new report by S&P Market Intelligence reveals that some automakers have set mid-decade goals for the develop deployment of solid-state batteries despite the fact that cost and design challenges have prevented their commercial application in electric vehicles to date. And I'm going to tell you more about this in my next report. So this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Friends, please subscribe to our channel uh, for daily electric vehicle, Tesla, EV battery stories. I will bring you more solid state battery stories. And please give us thumbs up for this report if you found the information here useful and helpful. And I would greatly appreciate if you would share in social media. That will help us tremendously. Have a great day. God bless you. Peace be with all of you. And come back and check us because I have I plan three more reports later today. Have a great day. See you soon.